we are taking a look at the new Samsung Wave range. So all of these devices are powered by the Bada OS. The first device that we had seen in the powered by Bada OS was the Samsung 8500. So we have it here just for reference. So this had a glorious 3.5 inch uh, Super AMOLED display. Samsung has managed to get in three new Wave handsets which are significantly cheaper than the original Samsung Wave. So the first in line is the Samsung Wave 525. This one gets a complete uh, plastic finish. It uh, runs the Bada OS and uh, has a has a Samsung star like body I would say. This has 3.2 megapixel camera on the back and pretty much uh, standard features GPS Wi-Fi that we see across all Wave handsets. So that's the 525 to begin with. This one is costing roughly Rs. 7500 in India. So that's $1.150. You also have the Wave 533. It's the Wave 525 with the additional QWERTY. So this one gets a very impressive QWERTY over here. So we are quite happy with the quality of the keyboard Samsung has managed to put in here. It has backlit and spaced out keys. Uh, this is a good add-on. So uh, Samsung has managed to get uh, Wave handsets with uh, a smartphone OS. So we always had a complaint that Samsung Corby series should get a smartphone OS so something in the sub to 10,000 range has finally got a smartphone OS Samsung has also got another wave handsets which uh, handset which is a little more expensive but packs in some better features so you have the wave 723 here it has a metal back and a 5 megapixel camera with LED and all these uh, three handsets the new wave handsets uh, have a 3.2 inch capacitive display they have GPS, Wi-Fi, N, and all of them are running the Bada OS, of course. So that's the new Wave range from Samsung, the Wave 525, 533, and the Wave 723. We'll have unboxing videos and reviews up shortly on onlythismus.com.